Architecture can be broken down into several categories that focus on different design areas, including built structures, landscape and outdoor design, and designing whole cities and communities. Although each field of architecture focuses on different scales of design, they all emphasize creating livable space for people. Prior to the computer, designing and building took a lot of time and effort. In the Neolithic period, people finally began moving away from the hunter-gatherer approach of living to finally settling into specific areas to build small villages and communities. Depending on the culture and location, villages and homes were constructed in areas that would best fit their needs. Planning and design was not a major focus in this time. Building these types of settlements was done over many years using trial and error, eventually being perfected over many centuries. Looking a lot further down the road in history, we come to the Greeks as well as the Egyptians as examples of when math and science began to reflect in the designing of the built environment. This is around the time when cities and communities began to be planned as a whole and didn't grow from random expansion like earlier civilizations. Planning roads, markets, public space, and religious structures became important to the growth of these cultures. Designing and sharing ideas took place by sketching in the sand or using early paper materials such as papyrus to draw out plans for buildings. Buildings were no longer built without a plan, but rather designed elaborately to reflect not only function, but also aesthetics as well. Moving into modern times and looking at the first half of the 20th century, the designing and building of cities, environments, and structures became a lot more advanced as far as sharing information and planning. Buildings began to become more advanced when materials improved, and mathematics began to help us build things that would have previously been considered impossible. Designing was not nearly as difficult to do with more efficient drafting tools. Everything was completed by hand from the beginning conceptual designs to final construction documents printed and stored as blueprints. Buildings began to be constructed more precisely, making cities grow quicker, but the entire process still took a long period of time. When mistakes were made, whole documents would have to be redone and everything would have to be changed. It was difficult and very time consuming compared to today's methods. In the past 30 years, the field of architecture has drastically changed due to the use of the computer. New programs have been created in order to take tasks that would normally be produced by hand and be able to much more quickly and accurately make them on the computer. Google Earth is a program that is very easy to use and provides many benefits to architects, landscape architects, and city planners. It enables people to be able to see and study the context around the site in order to better design and meet the needs of the broader context. Google Earth is constantly updating and has many new features such as 3D buildings as well as 3D landforms. Before the use of this program, people had to do extensive traveling. But with this new technology, it allows firms to build projects all over the world. GIS stands for Geographic Information System and provides an open database for sharing information and research. This program is used to display various maps such as soil maps, hydrology maps, topographic maps, and so on. And this database is constantly being updated so you can find all the information on your site before designing and building. Before the use of this database, firms would have to hire scientists and other researchers to survey a site to get all the information. But with this new technology, it allows for far less work, less time, and less money. AutoCAD is a program that stands for computer-aided drafting and is used for exactly this, to draft plans on the computer instead of on paper. You can use it to create very detailed and extremely precise plans, specifications, and construction documents. The benefit of this program compared to the traditional hand methods is that changes can be made easily, it is very accurate, files can be shared, and scaling can be changed very simply. Photoshop is a program that is typically thought of as just a photo editing program but it is used as an artistic tool to render master plans and layer design concepts on photos of existing conditions to see what it will look like. 
This program has made creating quick concepts and visualization much easier and much faster as opposed to traditional methods of sketching everything by hand and gives you a more realistic idea. Rhinoceros is an extremely useful program in the architectural world. This program enables you to build three-dimensional objects and view how a structure or landscape would look before it is physically constructed. This program also allows you to create video fly-throughs so you can imagine being a person walking through a design. Nothing like this was ever possible before the use of the computer. This enables us to perfect designs by walking through them before they are built. The 3DS Max is much like Rhinoceros in the fact that you can build three-dimensional models on the computer. The advantage of this program is that it allows an animation component so that you can animate movies of walking through a particular design. This allows you to move throughout a site and see activity taking place to make the design more realistic. This is a valuable tool that helps designers better understand their designed environment. The use of the computer in the field of architecture has had many positive effects on how we can design today as opposed to 30 years ago. But although there have been many positive advancements with the introduction of the computer, there are also negative aspects to this new computer technology. Over the years, as new and better programs are being produced, it is becoming increasingly difficult to find jobs based on your knowledge of these programs. Firms are mainly looking for those with the most experience on these programs, so in order to get a job, it is required that you keep yourself up to date on the latest technology. Things have drastically changed from the early Neolithic villages to today's massive cities. As technology increases, we will begin to see a better future as far as how we live. We are beginning to move into a time where we can design with a lot more ease, and begin thinking about more important aspects down the road, such as sustainability and planning for a better future.